Hi everyone, Shannon here with Mixed Media Minnesota. Welcome to my video. Today we are going to work on day six of the Defemerember uh, prompts, which are a napkin image and a tag. So I have a, a big coffee dyed tag here and I have chosen one of my Christmas napkins. And we're going to work on that. So we're going to get right to it. Um, I do have, I picked out some ribbon that I thought went well with the napkin and then some flowers I grabbed out and so I have um, my decoupage glue here, paintbrush, everything all ready. So I'm just going to, I have a little piece of cellophane here. I'm just going to pour some of this, if I can get it open, right on there. Well actually first we're going to work on getting our napkin apart. Okay, so just have some tape on there and get that peeled up to get a start on that to get it pulled off it's a really neat trick when it works there we go So we're going to have to do this in um, the napkin in two layers because the image I want to use isn't going to cover in the opposite side of the napkin. I'll show you in a second here. It's pretty, so okay, set that aside. It's a pretty color and it has a very faint, I don't know if you can see it or not, probably not, but there's like a diamond pattern in the back. So let's see, first I have, I just have some water here in a little paintbrush and I want to go ahead and I'm just going to try and get this to where it's straight so where I can rip it out um, easily without tearing my Christmas tree. So I'm just going to pull on that. Okay, so we have that. Um, I am going to also, I want, I want the red on the bottom of this and so I want that centered. So I'm just going to go ahead and wet this side as well and pull that off. I'm going to save that little strip of red in case we, in case we want some on the top. This little strip here. So I'm going to set that aside for right now. I'm going to set my napkin up here and I set my tag over here. Let's see, I'm just, I'm just going to use that piece of the napkin to get my water mess picked up here. <clears throat> okay, so this is the side here that I want to first put on, on uh, the whole front of the tag. Okay, so I'm just going to... Go ahead and rip that apart and then we have another one here for another project okay so now um let's see i should have grabbed a piece of scrap paper i always do that don't i i mean i don't have anything real close well i do actually have craft paper here right here this is scrap of paper i can use actually that'll work better Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and um, get some of the decoupage glue here. I'm just going to pour it right on the cellophane. Oh, well, it helps to take that off, I guess. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm just going to load my brush here. And cover the front of the whole tag with it. And I want to be quick. This, um, I really like the Little Birdie brand decoupage glue. It does dry quick. Um, so I want to get a good layer on there. And I'm okay if it bumps and the napkin bubbles a little bit on there and adds a little texture. I'm okay with that. But the wetter, the wetter you get it and get it on there, then less less of that happens if you lay it 
flatter. Okay, so we have that. We're going to move it on the side. And now I'm going to... I could have ironed this napkin because it has that line in it, but it's okay. Okay, and press that on there. See, there's the little ripples in there. I'm okay with that. I'm just pressing it really good on the edges here. Giving a little texture. Okay. Now we have that on there, and now I'm just going to go ahead and add another layer of that over the top of it and then we're going to place this on top of that is the plan so I'm just going to start on the top here and cover that this gives us a good seal on our napkin and now on the bottom to get the other napkin to stick good on there. Okay. So if we can line this up right with the bottom and kind of center it, hopefully. Let's see. Okay, it's going to go right there. And now we're just going to go over it, wiping away from the tree um, to get that glued to the other one. And it, um, this will dry clear. This one is clear, so it looks white when you put it on, but it dries clear. I'm going to stitch around this tag as well so it doesn't uh, peel up and stuff. Okay, I got bubble, bubbles in there. Just going to make sure that I glue over top and push them all down. Okay, that looks good. So now I'm going to take my water, my brush with water here, and I'm going to try and go around the tag and see if that works to peel it off. before I do the whole thing. Now I probably glued it to my paper because I wasn't thinking, right? Okay, unstick that. As long as it sticks on my tag, I'm okay with that. Okay. So, so we have that on there. Let's see, I don't know if I, I don't know if the, No, I'm gonna I'm gonna go dry it and then I'm just gonna cut it off. I don't want to rip it off of the thing. So I'll be right back with it cut apart and dried. Okay, so I'm back. Um, I did dry it. It's almost completely dry. I did go ahead and stitch around it. So now on the back, this was coffee dyed and the back wasn't completely covered with the coffee, which is fine. I'm okay with that. Um, in the napkin, there's snowflakes in the top layer. So I want to add some snowflakes, and I don't get to use my snowflake stencils very often, so when I can use them, I'm going to use them. So I feel like I've been using them a lot, but that's okay. So I'm going to use my vintage photo, and I'm going to go ahead and ink some of those on there. I don't think I want them everywhere. I'm just going to kind of... Maybe, um, kind of fill in the empty spots here. Okay, so we just have a couple on there. I like that. So, just gonna grab a baby wipe over here and wipe my stencil off really quick.
Okay, so we got that done. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to ink around it with Vintage Photo as well. And I think, I think when, um, when I use this in a journal, the pocket that we made yesterday's prompts, um, which were a coffee dyed one with a button um, card, this t big tag would work great tucked in behind that one. We didn't make one um, for behind that pocket, and I think this one will work really good with it. So... So, there we have that. Let's go ahead and I think we're going to add our topper. Um, I'm not going to put any more of the napkin on there. I just li I like it on the bottom. But I do want to add some of this um, ribbon. The color is like perfect, I think, for it. And we're going to go ahead and see if we need one or two. I think maybe one will be fine on there. I can get it through that little tiny hole that was in the tag. Okay. I did it backwards again, didn't I? I don't know which way actually is the correct way to do it. I guess it just depends on which way you like it. Okay, now work with me here. Just go in there. Oh my goodness, I left my decoupage glue open. That wasn't smart. Okay. Sure. I'm not sure if I like it that way. <laughs> Maybe I should have left it the other way. What if we tie this into a big bow up here? I wonder. I'm not going to have enough end, I don't think. Okay, I'm struggling here. Oh, it's just like tie and shoot. <laughs> Do we like that with the tab sticking up? The bow is upside down. No. Okay, well for now we're just going to leave it. I'm going to trim the... Trim the tops off. Okay, and let's see. Uh, we need some kind of words on here, like right down here, I think. We stamp happiest season of all, but I think we're going to need to do it on some cardstock or something. Let's see what I have in my, my little scraps here that are pretty much picked through. Here we have some more coffee dyed paper. That'll work. See if I can get it kind of straight here. Oh, and moved on me. So it's not straight, but I'll fix that really quick. Okay. It didn't do much, but. It's okay, it doesn't have to be straight. So ink that. I need a new pad on this one. Okay, we're gonna 
stamp on that. And I'm just going to use the black stays on ink. It's my, it's my go to favorite for stamping. Try and get it straight. Oh no, okay, so I don't like that. I pushed too hard on it. So, okay, so we'll try again. Gotta get it this time because we're almost out of scraps, right? If we can get it this time. Okay. Ink that again. Okay, I'm gonna stamp it on here rather than on there. There we go. I'm good with that. Okay, put that ink away. Bring our tay here. Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and glue that on. This is going to go way down in the pocket, I think, or it can be clipped on a page, but I, I'm thinking it'll work behind that pocket. So I don't want a lot of bulk on the bottom, and I really like the tree here. So I was thinking maybe we could add some flowers or something on the top. Um, do we like that on there? Give this flower a little bit of ink. Okay, I'm not feeling that. Let's see. I gotta put it under a book or something to get it nice and straight. But let's see some. Cut that in half and then kind of pull it, make it messy. Just don't know. Like, I would love a flower down here, but I don't want it to get stuck in a pocket, so. I'm going to pull the. There's foam in between this one, so I'm going to take the, the foam out of it so it's flatter. And then I could just put it down there, but then it looks empty up here. Well, I don't know. Usually the flowers are the exact perfect touch and, and it probably is. I'm just, something's feeling off with it for me. Okay. I think what I'm going to do is go ahead and just run a stitch right through that. Sometimes I like how that looks. But do we need a, um, do we like paper behind it? Just kind of make a little cluster on there. Or? I'm 
to go ahead and ink that. Do, however, it's too close to the tree over here. I don't want to take away from the tree, so. Do we put it upside down? No. <clears throat> There, I think I like it on this side. Okay, so I'm just gonna really quickly run a stitch straight through this and I'm just gonna stitch it and we'll be right back. strings off here. I'm okay if the strings are a little bit hanging messy, that's fine. So it's not cute. I think it's so cute. Just adds a little little tiny something on there. I'm gonna go ahead and just rip a little bit off this side and then add some ink right there. Okay, so we're gonna glue that on there. For a second. Okay, so I think that is just fine. It's so cute. I do want one down here now. I'm going to peel the back off this one just to balance it a little bit. Um, because if I take the foam out of the center, it'll be flat enough to put on there and then it'll go in a pocket. So that just kind of balances the flower, I think. So that's what we're going to do. There we have it. I think that turned out really cute. And so there you go. There's our day six defemer ember with our napkin image on a tag. And we have the back of the tag we can use. And should we just pop that little pocket out we made yesterday just to see out of curiosity? possible that it'll work. I'm not sure. It would work. That would work in there, wouldn't it? So it would be just right behind there. Perfect. Okay. So there you go. There's day six. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, I hope you find inspiration to give it a try and check out everybody else's uh, projects that they made for the prompts. And um, thank you for watching and we'll see you soon.